In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages PowerPoint 74 and 75, in which we're going to be modifying masters. Before starting this video, you do need to go to Core Sites and download three files for this series of videos. One of them is going to be a PowerPoint presentation, which is entitled PPT D-1, and the other two are going to be JPEG files. After watching this video, you should be able to navigate Slide Master View and add and modify a picture. Each presentation in PowerPoint has a set of masters that store information about the theme and slide layouts. Masters determine the position and si size of text and content placeholders, fonts, slide background, color, and effects. There are three master views, slide master view, notes master view, and handout master view. Changes made in Slide Master View are reflected on the slides in Normal View. Changes made in Notes Master View are reflected in Notes Page View. And changes made in Handout Master View appear when you print your presentation using a handout printing option. The primary benefit to modifying a master is that you can make universal changes to your whole presentation instead of making individual repetitive changes to each of your slides. And now let's take a look at the steps. On step one on page PowerPoint 74, it tells us that we need to start PowerPoint and open up the presentation PPT D-1. And that is this file right here. You also, if it prompts you, you do want to go ahead and enable editing. Once you have this file uh, open and you have enabled the editing, you want to go ahead and do a save as to this because we are going to change the file name uh, to this file uh, to pptd-qst and you want to save this uh, to either your my documents or to your home drive uh, for me I'm going to save this to my desktop so we're going to just save this as pptd-qst Then next, once we have this saved, we want to click on the View tab, and then of course we now notice that there are our different views. We are going to focus right here on the master views uh, during this uh, first part of our video here. In step two, it tells us to click on the Slide Master in the Master Views group, and then we're going to scroll to the top of the Master's thumbnail pane, which you'll now notice that it appears that we still do have thumbnails, uh, but instead of having our content, uh, we have our placeholders and information there. But we want to go to the top of our um, thumbnails pane here, and we want to go all the way up to the very top. And then we're going to go to the very top, and we're going to click on the Organic Slide Master Thumbnail, and that is the very first thumbnail. Now the Slide Master view appears with the Slide Master displayed in the Slide pane. A new tab, the Slide Master tab, appears next to the Home tab on the ribbon, which we see right here. And of course, uh, the Slide Master is the organic theme Slide Master, and of course, depending on what theme you have available, uh, that will be the Slide Master for whatever theme you're currently using. Now, each theme comes with its own Slide Master. Each master text placeholder on the Slide Master identifies the font size, style, color, and position of text placeholders on the slides in normal view. For example, for the organic theme that we're looking at here, the master title placeholder position at the top of the slide uses a black 44-point Garamond font. And of course, uh, that tells us that is shown right here. Slides using this font style and formatting. Now each slide master comes with an associated slide layout associated with the slide master in the master thumbnails pane. Slide layouts follow the information on the slide master and changes you make are reflected on all of the slide layouts. Now of course a quick tip as well, you can press and hold shift and click the normal button on the status bar to display the slide master as well. In step three, it now tells us that we want to point to each of the slide layouts in the slide uh, or in the master's thumbnail pane. 
So we're going to take a look at the different, uh, we're going to point to each of these here uh, while we're in our master here, because this is the organic slide master here. And it tells us that we're going to point here. And of course, once we're pointing at each of these, we'll notice that it gives us the name of it, as well as what slides they're used on, if any. Now, ultimately, ultimately we want to click on the title and content layout thumbnail. <clears throat> so we want to scroll back up a little bit, and we want to go to the title and content layout. Now, of course, as you point to each slide in the layout, a screen tip appears identifying each slide layout by name and list any, uh, if any, slides in the presentation are using that layout. Now, in this case, uh, slides 2 through 6 and 13 are using the title and content layout. Next, on step 4, it tells us that we want to click the organic slide uh, master thumbnail again, which is all the way up at the top. And then it tells us that we want to click on the insert tab. So we click our insert tab here. And then we want to click on the pictures button. And of course the pictures button dialog box will open. Then you want to go to wherever you save the PPT D-2 JPEG which I have mine saved on the desktop and it's this file right here. Uh, it's our QST logo is what we're looking at. And we want to select it and click on it. And then we want to click on insert. Now the QST logo picture is placed on the slide master and will now appear on all slides in the presentation. Now, of course, the picture is too large and needs to be repositioned on the slide uh, that way so we can see it because right now it may be behind some different objects because right now we can take a look and it's kind of behind several things uh, if you would try to take a look at uh, some of the different uh, layouts that's on there. So what we're going to do is here now is that we're going to click on our image And then we're going to go up here and we're going to click on the Pictures Tools Format tab. Then on step 6, it tells us that we want to click on the 1.61 in the Shape Width text box. And that is over here in the Size group. And we want to type in .50 and press Enter. So that's going to make our image much smaller. And then it tells us that we want to click and drag our QST logo to the upper left corner of the slide. Then it tells us that we want to click on a blank area of the slide to deselect it. And of course we notice that the picture will snap into the corner of the slide. And of course also now you can notice that throughout all the rest of the slides that the QST logo has now been placed in all of the slides. Now in step 7 it tells us to click the slide master tab on the ribbon if it's not already selected. And then it tells us to click the preserve button in the edit master group. Uh, so here we have Edit Master, and right here is Preserve. And of course the Preserve tells us that Preserve the Selected Master so that if it remains with the presentation even if it is not used on there. So we're going to click on that. And it says Preserving the Selected Master ensures that the organic slide master remains with this presentation even if you eventually select another master. Now of course you want to compare what you have to what you see on the screen and also with what you have on page 75 figure D-2. Then finally we want to click on the normal button which is down here in our status bar and this, that's step 8 and we can take a look that the QST logo has been placed up on all of our slides. Then we want to go ahead and save our changes. Now on the bottom of page PowerPoint 75, it does tell us a little about, about creating custom slide layouts. And as you work with PowerPoint, you may find that you need to develop a customized slide layout.
For example, you may need to create uh, presentations for a client that has slides that display four pictures with a caption underneath each picture. To make everyone's job easier, you can create a custom slide layout that includes only the placeholders you need. To create a custom slide layout, you can open up the slide master view and then click the insert layout button in the edit master group. A new slide layout appears below the last layout in the selected master in the slide thumbnail pane. You can choose to add several different placeholders including content, text, picture, chart, table, smart art, media, and picture. Click the insert placeholder list arrow in the master layout group and click the placeholder you want to add and then you can drag the crosshair to create the placeholder. And then you can position the placeholder on the slide. Now in slide master view, you can add or delete placeholders in any of the slide layouts. You can rename or customize slide layouts by clicking the rename button in the edit masters group and enter a descriptive name to better identify the layout. And that concludes the information that is on pages PowerPoint 74 and 75. You're ready to move on to the next video in which you're going to be customizing the background and theme.